Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you how to use the development tools in Spring Boot 2.0 version. Most of the developers are facing an issue while developing a Spring Boot application. If you make any changes, you should restart your application to take an effect. So it it's like a little painful for the developers. To avoid this issue, the development tools will provide you a solution for the developers. If you make any changes in your class path or in your code, then automatically it will reflect in your application without restarting the app. So let me show you the demo how to use the development tools in Spring Boot 2.0 version and then without restarting an application how the changes will affect. Generate a Gradle project with Java and Spring Boot version 2.0.4. Here, provide the group name as com.talktoamarayswaran.projects and then here I am providing a artifact name. It's like dev tools demo. Okay. For that, we need to add the Spring Boot shorter web dependency to write a REST controller and the controller APIs. Okay, and then here I now I am going to add the Spring Boot development tools dependency. So click a generate project button, the project will download into your machine as a zip file. Extract that zip file and import that project into your Eclipse. After import the project into your Eclipse, go to the build.gradle file and make sure the dependencies are added or not. Here the Spring Boot dev tools and Spring Boot shorter web dependency is added. Now Go to the main Spring Boot application class file, which is annotated with the actor Spring Boot application. Okay. Now, what I am going to do, now I am going to create a REST controller class, dev tools demo REST controller. So, this is the class file I am going to write a REST APIs. This class file should annotate it with the at REST controller. Okay. So here I just want to import the REST controller import statement. Now I am going to write here one single request mapping API value is like slash users. This is the get method API. This method will return a simple string. Okay, get users return. So here now I am going to return the string with the list of users like with the by using comma separator Amar William John is a simple string will returns the list of users in the comma separator as a string. Okay. Now what I am going to do now I am going to run this application run as Java application okay look at here tomcat started on the port 8080 and then the dev tools demo application has been started in 9.084 seconds now go to the web browser and hit the rest api url slash users now i am hitting the url it's a default uh, path this is users. So look at here. Amar William John. Okay. So I can able to get the response from the users API. Now what I am going to do. So here I am going to change these users. Amar William John. Now I am going to add one more user. Daniel. Okay. So look at here, in the console the application has been started automatically, I mean the restarted automatically. Now go to the web browser and hit the URL once again. So look at here, Amar, William, John, Daniel. So the new user has been added and then without restarting an application, you can able to see the output you developers don't need to restart the application manually automatically 
if any changes happen in your code the dev tools will pick it up okay so likewise now i am going to add one more property in the application of properties so here now i am going to use spring dot application dot name equal to demo service this is my application property new application property look at here in the console it's automatically restarted because you made the changes in the application dot properties file now what i am going to do now i am going to read the application value okay application property value by using at value annotation okay Pop, uh, maybe it's a yeah, like a private string service name okay this value should be annotated with the oops uh, the console the logs are getting okay i just want to minimize this okay wait okay so here now i am going to read the property value spring dot application dot name okay now i am going to add the service name also in the list of users okay so you can see the status in the console the application has been restarting now i am going to hit the url once again so look at the demo service so if you make any changes in the class path that will also will reflect in your application if you are using add out tools okay now the next step now i am going to create a class called controller to view the templates so for this uh, we need to add the demo controller class file this class file should annotated with the oh maybe the console it's uh, going okay here now i am going to add this class file annotated with the at controller here now i am going to add one more request mapping value the request mapping will be the default value public string index so whenever you eating a default url so the request control will go to the index page okay this is like an html page the request will be redirected to the index.html that index.html file now i am going to create in the templates folder under the templates folder html file now i am going to create the index.html file okay here now i am going to add hello success okay so let me see i written the code but i did not restart the application manually now i am going to hit the url the default url oops some error there is a no explicit mapping for error okay i forgot to add the time leaf dependency in build or gradle file to support the html and the script files now i am going to add the time leaf dependency in the build or gradle file okay so in the build or gradle file i added the time leaf dependency okay in this case we need to restart the application manually it won't take the effect if you add any new dependency okay now i am going to run this application once again before that i just want to refresh the gradle project so then only the project will sync i mean the new dependency the time leave dependency will sync it in the application now i am going to run this as a java application so now the user it's the url the default url slash then the request will redirect it to the index.html file 
okay so let me see application has been shorter now so now i am meeting the url once again so look at here it's coming allow success now go to the html file make any change like welcome buddy okay now refresh this page it's affecting so in this case we don't need to restart the application manually it will automatically it will work okay and also if we are using an html file every time we need to refresh the page right so we don't need to refresh the page if you install this browser plugin like a live reload chrome extension this extension will provide you to the auto refresh of your application so i already installed that application i mean the browser extension in my chrome browser okay now i am going to hit this url okay then let me see i mean let me show you how the page is refreshed automatically without refreshing the page i already installed the live reload chrome extension in my chrome browser now i am enabling that okay now the live reload chrome extension has been connected now i am going to change the text in the html file welcome amaresh swaran okay let me show you so look at here it's automatically refreshed so once you install this live reload browser extension then your whatever the changes you made in the html file and then the javascript file automatically it will affect without refreshing the page okay so this will also we can make it by using an extension and also like uh, it it will be a very useful for the developers to develop an application it minimize the development time we don't need to restart the application manually for the every single change okay live reload browser extension link has been given in the description section please use it thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much